Today, I would like to briefly discuss two peptides that may aid in recovery after jiu-jitsu training and decrease inflammation. As always, always discuss with your own personal physician who knows you best any medical concerns and before starting or stopping any medications or supplements. It goes without saying that the foundation of athletic performance is proper nutrition, adequate hydration, adequate sleep, appropriate training followed by appropriate recovery leading to appropriate adaptation. Without that foundation, no one will perform at their best. What are peptides? Simply put, they are short chains of amino acids numbering from 2 to 50 amino acids. Proteins number 100 amino acids or more. Peptides are signaling molecules that have precise cellular functions. The body produces over 7,000 known peptides and levels decline with age. The two peptides I will discuss today are not FDA approved in the United States and you should always discuss with your own personal physician. They are available in nasal spray, topical, and oral formulations in the United States of America. The first peptide I would like to discuss is BPC-157, B like boy, P Peter, C cat, 157. This is a gastric peptide that's composed of 15 amino acids, and it has been isolated from gastric enzymes. This can reduce gut, musculoskeletal, and systemic inflammation. It may improve digestive function and promote healing of the liver. It improves wound healing, improves repair of musculoskeletal injury, and can work as an anti-inflammatory agent. The second peptide, thymosin beta-4. Many athletes and active people take these two together, the BPC-157 and thymosin beta-4. Thymosin beta is a 43-amino acid peptide that's produced by the thymus gland. This can promote joint, tissue, muscle, and ligament regeneration and wound repair. It can trigger the formation of blood vessels, and it's also known as an excellent immune modulator. Both of them, taken either individually or synergistically together, can improve musculoskeletal, joint, and wound repair. They may increase endurance and strength. They may improve chronic fatigue, decrease inflammation, improve autoimmune function, and protect against oxidative damage. It is very important to note that if anyone online or on YouTube tells you that there are, quote-unquote, no side effects whatsoever, be very careful. Always discuss with your personal physician. I would strongly recommend before considering supplementing with these that you sit down and have a thorough past medical history of your own medical conditions and a family medical history, father, mother, aunts, uncles, especially of cancer. When you have peptides and agents that promote growth and formation of new blood vessels, there was always a risk that it may trigger groups of cells to start replicating in an uncontrolled fashion. For example, let's say you're an older male like myself, and I have an occult, occult meaning hidden, neoplasm, collection of cells. A neoplasm can be benign, premalignant, or malignant. Suppose I have a small occult neoplasm in the prostate gland or the colon. There is no way to know how those cells are going to respond to those signals from these exogenous peptides that are being ingested. It may give them permission to replicate in an uncontrolled fashion and mutate as they continue replicating. So it is very important to go into all these supplements and peptides with eyes wide open and carefully. You don't have to be paranoid about it, but you need to be careful. Some of the literature suggests cycling for 30 to 90 days. A reasonable person would submit that a cycle of 25 to 30 days to start may be reasonable and safe and start with a lower dose and can always titrate to effect. Again, always discuss with your personal physician.